Hi gear shifters. I am in Mooresville, North Carolina at Bond Body Armor and I'm going to be going in to get some new gear and wanted to bring you along. Hi Kristen, I'm Jordan. Hello, how are you? Good to yeah. meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to check out everything that you've got. I'm super excited about finding some more comfortable gear to wear and also have some options for when I am working. Yep. So now we are in the back where the magic happens. Everything is shipped in from Oregon and from Germany. The material is actually, and the shells are constructed um, in the United States. And the armor is from Germany. And so that comes in and we are in Mooresville, North Carolina with Kristen. She's one of the owners and she's actually putting this together for me. This is the summer riding shirt. Do you mind holding it up so yeah, they can sure. see how? Absolutely. All right. So as you can see, it's a mesh and there is body armor that is on the shoulders, the arms, the back, and it zips up. And I mean, there is stretch to it. So it's super comfortable. I'm really excited about trying this out. Yep. She's getting two other colors. She's getting our gray and black reflective and our very popular high visibility yellow, which we were joking earlier for those of us in the 45 to 65 range is the body glove yellow. <laughs> Absolutely, we are getting body glove yellow. Love it, and the armor fits, it's interchangeable, so I only need to get one set of armor. If you could just go over the care of the garments. Yeah, so the best way to treat these garments is to, uh, after you've ridden in them a couple of times, to take the armor out Give them a good rinse. You can rinse them in the sink. You could throw them in the wash. Just make sure if you throw them in the wash that you don't have any Velcro or anything that could snag them. So give them a good rinse. I typically will do either a cold wash or a very tepid, warm-ish wash to get all the sweat, all the dirt out of it. And then I will just hang dry or throw in the dryer for like two seconds to get the water out and then go ahead and hang dry them and that'll snap them back into shape and they will last for years. The gentleman that actually invented this product is Paul English, and he was a very famous racer, a motorcycle racer. He actually uh, won third place in the Isle of Man back in the 1970s. So he moved to Northern California in the early 90s, and when he moved there, he just could not figure out why people in America didn't wear gear. They didn't wear any protection whatsoever, and that being from England, he grew up wearing gear. So it really confused him. Well, it wasn't until the first time he went out on his motorbike, uh, his motorcycle in his full gear, and he realized at 110 degrees that that wasn't gonna cut it. So he said, well, I still need something that I can be cool and comfortable and still be able to enjoy riding and ride in a jeans and t-shirt. So we have really kind of served the space for that jeans and t-shirt rider that knows they need more, but isn't going to put on the big, heavy, bulky jacket. That's where we fit. That's our niche. We've been doing this 25 years and it's just been great. So these are all season armored uh, riding pants. They have armor in the knees all the way down the shin. They also have thigh armor, hip armor, and tailbone armor. And you'll notice that most manufacturers only put your hip and your um, knee and shin armor in, but we also carry the thigh and the tailbone for extra protection. So the armor that's in the pants is your knee shin, which actually goes down really far. It's double articulated, so it's really comfortable. And it's made out of a viscoelastic foam, so it heats up. When it heats up, it gets softer and more pliable. This is that new Triple Flex Sastec armor, which is very lightweight, very flexible. We chose this for the hips so that we could wrap around the hips really well. And then for the thigh and the tailbone, this is, actually, this is a certified level two hip, but you can't certify a tailbone or a thigh. So what we did was we took a nod from this. This is nine millimeters. This is uh, six millimeters. And we made it just a little thinner so it's a little more comfortable and a little bit more lightweight in those areas where you don't need as much protection. Nice, thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. All right, all packaged up, fresh for me. Yay, I'm super excited. Thank you so much. I'm you're really welcome. excited. I'm excited you came in. Thanks so much. Yeah. 
So check out my new jacket. It's actually a riding shirt and it's awesome because it is this incredible stretchy material, perfect for riding and the armor covers the entire forearm, shoulder and back and the entire back is covered and it's super stretchy. So the idea is that you wear your armor close to your skin and then you can wear your street clothes or any jacket over it if you need to. So I'm excited about using this. And then under my jeans, I have them on. In a few minutes, I'll take them off so that you can see the, the base layer, but it's got protection here at the tailbone and the hips along the thighs, as well as from the knee down through the shin. So it's a lot more protection and it'll allow me to wear this base layer under any street clothes so that I can ride and be safe. This is the base layer of the pants. Um, it's a very thin, stretchy material. So right here, we've got the entire thighs protected. My knee is protected from here all the way down. The shin and then the hip protectors slide all the way around both sides. And then the tailbone is right here. So, and there's a nice logo right there, but they can be worn under any pants. And then there's a zipper to make it easy to get on and off. Puppy approved. Some of the pieces that they're making are just very different than anything else that I found on the market. And so the shirts are really, really, really thin. They're designed to be worn either over or below other clothes. And so right now I'm just, I've got this shirt on with the armor, so I'm gonna have to put on, I've got a leather jacket in my bag, but I took out all the armor in my leather jacket because I don't need it. This actually has more armor covering up more parts of my back and like a larger portion of my back is covered and my entire, my entire forearm is, is covered with armor. My shoulder goes halfway down my arm, so oh, my elbow is covered too. Very little is exposed on the outside, so it's a lot more armor. I feel really, really safe with it on, but I'm chilly because it's working. It's keeping me cool in hot weather. It's actually warm when I'm stopped. This zipped up. Yep. I just pulled over and put on a jacket because I got cold. Thanks for watching. My name's Jordan and I believe in gear shifting gratitude. If you like the video, let me know. Leave a comment, hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I love bringing these videos to you. And if you're subscribed and ring the bell, you won't miss it when I release them.